Got more information on my batteries. You know how they weren't charging? Or at least keep holding the charge? In this video, we're going to talk more about it. Thanks for tuning in. Jeff Ferris on Hot Homestead. Again, if you've been following me, I have no clue what I'm doing. But, I looked at it some more. And I have more information to my batteries. So let me show you what I got. I'll kind of walk it through. So what I did was I got my multimeter. And I set it to, well, I actually had it on the 20 first. And what I did was I put the red on the positive, the black on the negative for each of these batteries and each of those batteries. Here's what I found. 6.3, 6 6.3, 4.0, 6.3. Now these I had already wired up. I'm using them so when I did them they were all above 7 because they were charging. Now I've got the power turned off and I'm going to check it one more time here. But I can tell you before I initially started charging and, and put a load on and all that, the initial reading was 26.1. Right now that grouping is 27. It looks like it's slowly going down 24, 23. Yeah, so it's resting. So that's that's okay because I just like turned it off like two minutes ago the, the charging capacity so I'm letting it all kind of rest settle down that's these four right here those I don't have connected so it's telling me it makes me wonder what are these at at rest for the six volts because they're six volt batteries and I'll put on the screen here what they should be at 100% and all that. But I find it interesting how that one came in at 4. And these three were pretty consistent at 6.3. So, yeah, let me test it. I can't do it with one hand, so let me do it and I'll come back. So I put that on 20. And I tested. That's 6.7, 6.7, 6.7, 6.7. It was actually like 669 for each one. And those are at 63. That one's at 4. Now granted, these just came off of being charged and used like 3 three to 5 minutes ago. So that may affect the actual number. Because they're still going at rest. But the point I'm trying to do with this video is simply this. They're unevenly charged. Okay? Part of the reason why that they are unevenly charged is because they're wired. The way that they're wired, here's the difference. I have, this here is my inverter. Okay, my inverter also is connected to this. That one was over there. That was my main positive for this whole entire bank. So the charging was there, the load was hooked up there, Charging was hooked here, the load was hooked up, and you can see all the other stuff too. So you can hook up the other stuff. This is the charging, this is just a DC line, and then that goes to the inverter. So, here's the issue, and this is why, now I may be wrong, but this is my conclusion. The reason why those are lower than these is because I did not use a bus bar. Here's why. The positive was hooked to there, so it was draining from this one first. If I would have had a bus bar, evenly distance, you know, same length, positive to the bus bar, that positive to the bus bar, and then hook that one to the bus bar, it would have drew equal from both of these, and therefore, I'll bet you anything, those would not be in the same condition. Now that one being 4 volts, 
Well, I don't know what happened there. Now, some people say, well, you got to equalize. Well, I don't know what the hell equalize means, okay? Other than you're supposed to try to equalize the batteries. Well, that's what's supposed to be the charge controller is supposed to do. Now, granted, I got a cheap charge controller. So some of you are going to point to that and say, well, that's why. Okay, maybe. But you know, the charge controller is like 70 bucks. For a 24 volter for 10 years, I got my money's worth. Even if I... And these batteries, 10 years old? Yeah, I got my money's worth. In my eyes. That's just an update on this. Stay tuned for more, obviously. But that's kind of the skinny. Let me do a quick review. 4 volts with this multimeter. Positive, negative. 6.3, 6.3, 6.3. 6.7, 6.7, 6.7, 6.7. That's with no load and no charging at all hooked up to these for at least five minutes. And as a bank, this here is currently sitting at 26 something. Okay. And this one, and to do the 24 volt, I go up to that number there okay that's for the 6 volt that's for the 24 volt this whole deal here ended up being 24 point like 2 so and they're already dead and they were charging and that's where like like you saw in the other video earlier when I was getting ready to disconnect these those batteries were like at a hundred plus degrees and these batteries were at like 60 when they were all hooked together how I determined that I got some bad batteries and uh, hopefully that kind of helps you guys out I think the key is a better charge controller and more solar panels but I'm gonna replace it all with lithium so you gotta stay tuned to see what it looks like which lithiums do I get there's so many varieties ten years ago there was like none out now there's like boatloads thanks for tuning in see you bye have fun